Okay, we're back with another episode of The Final Whistle. I'm excited to be able to continue this series where we're giving coaches an opportunity to connect and share what their experience has been like as we all embrace the COVID-19 pandemic. So I am honored to be able to meet today with the brand new head girls varsity basketball coach at Heathwood Hall, the all-timer, the GOAT caller, what you want to call her, Brianna <laughs> Zimmerman. Bree, what's happening? How you doing? How you doing? Thank you for having me. I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled to have you on here. This is, you know, I know a lot of Highlander people are going to want to hear from you. First chance they've had to, to really see you since, you know, the announcement that you'll be the new head coach, which has been mm -hmm. a long time coming. But while all this is going on, you know, how have you been? How's your family been? Everybody getting through this as, as best they can? We've been good, you know, just trying to keep that glass half full mentality. And I actually enjoy being able to be home and spend more time with the kids um, and for them to kind of get a little bit of a break so that we can really focus on, on family things. Absolutely. Um, I, I think that's a great approach to have, just that glass half full mentality, trying to be as positive as you can in the moment. And I know that's really difficult for a lot of people right now, you know, rightfully so. Um, but for you, especially being a new coach, I know this time has been really difficult because this is a really important time where you try to build relationships with your staff right. or new players or, you know, just really putting together that program. So what has that been like for you so far? It's definitely been difficult. Um, a lot of the girls know me just from working on campus. So they know my face and know my name, but I haven't been able to have that chance to really build that one-on-one -on -one relationship with them. I think that um, technology has allowed for us to use Zoom and things like that to be able to connect. And, and I've met with all the girls individually just to learn you know, about them, how their season went last year, what they're looking forward to for this season. But there's nothing like being able to be in the gym with somebody to really connect in person. And so that's probably been the most difficult part of it. Um, I'm excited that my dad is, my dad Jerome Dickerson is, is still gonna be one of the assistant coaches and he, comes with so much knowledge, depth as a, as a coach who's coached pretty much my whole life and has coached at pretty much every level and really can just help me understand um, things that I can build on from last year and things that I can do to help us grow as a team. But I really look forward to just being able to get the girls in the gym right now. I'll be assigning virtual workouts, but um, there's nothing like being able to really get that face to face with them and really just get started and get to work. A hundred percent. And, you know, like you mentioned, well, first off, don't pretend like you have to introduce yourself to people. Um, <laughs> you have to be one of the, the few coaches in the state that will be walking into a gym, uh, every day that has your name literally <laughs> in the rafters. So, um, having that connection of you and, and your, your dad being a, I mean, world-renowned, you know, trainer and coach it is going to be great for our program. It's something that we're all excited about. Um, one of the unique things, though, is embracing the, the new normal. Uh, Jeff called it the new abnormal the other day, and I thought that was perfectly put. But we're in a time period where not only would you be building relationships with your, your coaches and your players and, and building that program, but you'd be a month out from summer workouts and camps and, you know, summer leagues and all that stuff. How are you anticipating things being different from how you'd have probably planned them out? Or how are you, you know, kind of preparing for what comes next? Well, I guess with so much uncertainty and not really knowing when everything is going to open back up, you just kind of have to take it in stride. And so, um, like I said, it's just a matter of taking this time to really just learn the girls. I think that's so much of it and understand, you know, how things went with for them last year, what they can build on for this year. It's watching a lot of film from last year just to understand, you know, their game tendencies and, and where we might need to put some work in once we are able to get back into the gym. I hate that, you know, right now we can't confirm any camps or scrimmages or anything like that to where I can't even see them in action but um at the same time you know it's just one of those things where you have to use what you have and right now i have game film from last year i have the opportunity to speak with them directly and build those types of relationships so you just you know you got to work with what you can and and right now that's pretty much the only the only choice i have 100 percent, 100 percent. well again you this being your also be your first year as the, the head varsity coach uh what are you excited about i know a lot of people 
particularly in the Heathwood community, we haven't had a chance to, mm -hmm. to talk to you about, you know, what your style will be or, you mm -hmm. know, what you're anticipating from what you've, you know, got coming back from a player perspective or, or mm -hmm. what some of your goals are just as a coach. So if mm -hmm. you can tell me a little bit about what we can expect from coach Bree instead of uh, the, <laughs> the number 23 that, that hangs, you know, hangs in the Raptors. <laughs> well, you know what, as, as much as it seems like it would be so much pressure coming in as someone who's played at Heathwood, I don't feel like it's like that way. I feel like it's a great opportunity for them to understand that someone's coming in that's been where they are, that understands these, these trials and tribulations and understands what it takes, you know, to get to the next level and, and really just been able to connect to them at that level. I think that um, that's something that I really pushed with them is just one, being coachable when it comes to my coaching style and just understanding that I would never put them through something that I haven't been through myself and understanding that I'm going to always expect the best out of them, but I'm going to show them how to give the best. So, you know, I'm looking forward to that, but also their open line of communication. I think for me, you know, that's something that Coach Daly instilled in me was just making sure that you have an open line of communication with your, with your team. And sometimes it's things you want to hear and sometimes it's things you don't want to hear, but you have to be able to take it all in and assess it and see how, you know, you can change things to make what's best for your team. And I think that that's something I definitely look forward to this year is just kind of shaking things up a little bit, doing some things that they're not used to, but also, you know, making them better in some areas that they're not used to getting work in. So, you know, I think that there's so much growth and learning opportunities that'll come with this group of girls. And I've heard nothing but great things about them. I've heard how, you know, hardworking they are, how determined they are, and how they just want to have a great season. And I think that is certainly possible in making us a really good contender for next season. Well, I know we all love to hear that. We're excited about it from a school standpoint. And I know we're excited from a city, Columbia, someone who's homegrown, who again, right. played at Heathwood, played, right. played you know, down the street at USC in a program that I, I think most people would say is pretty good, uh, which, is, which is nice. But um, uh, one thing that I am really interested in hearing, I always want to give people an opportunity to, um, I've got a dog here that's making noise, another dog up there. Sorry, I got kids upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's, that's our new abnormal. There we go. <laughs> um, this is this is a, a series I wanted to start really to be able to me selfishly to be able to connect with coaches that I typically would every day and and don't get to anymore. Um, but I think it's great to hear that perspective from coaches about what this entire experience is like because mm -hmm. you know as much as we don't like it, it's something that we have to embrace. And I think it's something that we'll look back on and be able to say, okay, well that was something different that I got to go through. Um, We'll share it on, on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, and all the videos are live on YouTube. Um, but I always want to wrap up and give you as a coach an opportunity on a public platform to share anything that you want to, whether it be with your community, the Heathwood community, your team, your players, your coaches, or, or, or anyone. Uh, just mm -hmm. feel free to say anything that kind of comes to heart. You know, I, I think that – one of the things I'm most excited about this year and just in conversations with the girls is an opportunity for them to face their fears. And a lot of them express to me how, you know, I'm afraid to dribble, I'm afraid to shoot, um, you know, I'm afraid to play hard defense. And I just want to get away from those fears. I want to build their confidence so that they feel like they can do anything. Because once you do that, I mean, your team will be able to gel, you'll connect as one and you'll really play as a family. And I want them to have that strength and help build that strength for them so that this season, you know, there's no limit to what we can accomplish. And that for me is exciting. Well, I think that's perfect. Uh, coach, we are excited to have you. We're excited to look forward to what the future is going to hold. Um, and I, I hope that you continue with your family to stay safe and stay well. And, you know, we'll, we'll certainly see you soon. Thank you. You do the same. All right, well, everybody, this is Coach Brianna Dickerson Zimmerman, the new head women's basketball coach at Heathwood Hall. This is the final whistle. <laughs>